the Lord be with you. Welcome my brothers and sisters to the reflections for the third week of Lent. And this week, in the two segments, I'm going to focus on the Sacrament of Reconciliation and give you four tips to make a good confession. Pope John Paul II said that confession is an act of honesty and it takes courage. Now we know how courageous an act that is to go sit next to the priest who is a man just like you and I and make a sincere confession. But God in his wonderful mercy has provided us with this sacrament which has the potential to change our lives. It gives us fantastic grace and restores our soul to him because in the end God wants to reunite us with him, to bring us in communion with him and the sacrament of confession gives us the grace to do just that. But few of us attend confession and many of us who do go to confession do so sometimes on a real superficial way. We list out our sins, you know, those that we do remember and we don't have a real hate for them. We just list them out because, you know, we have to say something and we, we expect after all of that to be forgiven, to receive that grace of forgiveness. And even beyond that, we still go and live life the same way as we did before we went into, into the confessional. And my brothers and sisters, confession should be taken much more seriously than that. Because the gift we receive at confession, when we receive absolution after making a good and sincere confession, that gift of forgiveness you know, we also receive that sanctifying grace that brings us, you know, into holiness with our Lord. Because at baptism, our sins were forgiven, our original sin was forgiven, and we had a clean slate. And every time we go and make a sincere confession, we return to that state of baptism. And at that is the time where we are really more closely in tune with God. So my brothers and sisters, I urge you not to neglect the grace of God. And we should have, when we make confession, is really to detest our sins. We should have that sense of hate for our sins. Not because for anything else, because we offend someone or, or the wife or the husband find out about something that you did. That has nothing to do with it. We should hate our sins because we offend God, a God whom we should love above all things, as we say in the act of contrition. And that is why we need to go to confession, because we have offended God, who has called us to love him. And once we, once we offend him, we separate ourselves from him. But he has given us this sacrament of reconciliation so that we can always come back to him. In our next segment, I will give you four tips on how to make a good confession. See you then.